what's going on youtubers uh, if you've been following my channel you know i've been gone about i think it's about two weeks now uh i can't remember but i'm getting ready to go fishing i just wanted to hop on and make this quick video uh yes i know the camera's all kinds of funky uh my stand for my camera is weird right now. Uh, I've got to do some adjustments to it, and I just I haven't been feeling up to doing anything. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about today. Uh, what happened was I got. I got dog bit and regardless of what you call yourself uh, prepper survivalist outdoorsman um, you're probably going to have some contact with animals sometime in your life uh, if not constantly um, I have two full-blooded pit bulls uh, a mother and a daughter and um with owning dogs you you take the risk of potentially being bit and that's uh something i wanted to touch on today uh if you have dogs or are thinking about getting dogs uh you can be bit but I feel like personally the positives outweigh the negatives. Um, I have two very good dogs and they are even better security or they're even a better piece of my security system. Um, and if anybody tries to tell you that being bit by a pit bull doesn't hurt, they're out of their mind. Uh, That was one tooth right there between the knuckles was another tooth right here was another tooth right there was another tooth and let's see if I can get it where the sunlight's not hitting it right there was another tooth and I, I've got thick skin and she still happened to find the soft spots. And uh, the wound didn't hurt. Uh, believe it or not, the wound did not hurt that bad. The, I guess the force that she bit down with uh, actually bruised my hand. Uh, now granted, she's not a puppy. Well, she's not quite a puppy anymore. Um, she's about three years old. And uh, her teeth weren't quite as sharp as if, if she had been a puppy. Uh, if you don't know anything about dogs, puppies' teeth, especially small puppies, when they're little, are really sharp. Like uh, ice pick sharp, I guess you could say. Uh, and the older they get, the more the point wears down. But she was only able to pierce my hand in a few spots. But the pressure that she bit down with actually bruised my hand. Uh, and if you want to know how strong a pit bull's bite is, I drug her out of her kennel by her bite probably why I had a, a couple wounds on my hand to be honest with you uh, she was clamped down uh, and some people are going to stop right here and say whoa 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 you got a pit bull you should have just put it down pit bulls are notorious for turning on their owners yada 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 I don't care 
I have two good dogs. Uh, it is actually my fault she bit me. I stuck my hand in her mouth while she was scared. Well, actually, I stuck my hand towards her mouth while she was scared. So, uh, I don't care what you have to say about pit bulls uh, or dogs turning on their owner. They all will. Uh, 90, 90 to 95% of how a dog acts is determined by training. I've had several dogs. Uh, I've trained several dogs. That's part of, one of what I wanted to talk to you about. Is uh, First off, if you plan on having a dog, you need to either be prepared to train it, or you need to be able to pay to have it trained. Um, if you pay to have it trained, it won't be as good. If you train it, if you study up on it and do your homework and research on how to train the dog, it'll be better. It'll be more suited to your needs. Um, it's just a fact of life. Uh, the training might not be as quality, but the dog will bond with you. Uh, it brings up another, uh, thing for whatever reason, uh, dogs usually bond with opposite sex. I don't know why, uh, I'm not saying it doesn't happen the other way around, but so far as I've seen, most of the time a female dog will bond with a male human. And a male dog will bond with a female human. I, I don't know why. I don't quite understand it. But it's just how it happens most of the time. Just want to be clear on that. Most of the time. Not all of the time. Uh, the other thing is about being bit. You. You the user. You the pet owner need to have medical supplies you need to know how to use them you need to have them on hand you need to have disinfecting and sterilization stuff like alcohol peroxide uh, there's another one they use uh, witch hazel or something like that that I you, you need to have stuff that you can clean a wound with on hand all the time because that's actually what happened to me. We have a medical kit. And lo and behold, because nobody's been hurt, we haven't been out and about. With all the COVID stuff happening, I let things slip. I let our medical supplies slip. My kids go through band-aids like their underwear. They think they need a band-aid for everything. That's just how kids are. But I had not been paying attention. And so when I got bit, I did not have the right medical supplies to bandage the wound. And that's part of being prepared. You need stuff like that. That's part of uh, being a survivor. You need to have stuff like that. And if you don't, you need to know how to make do. That might have been the only thing that kept my bite wound, wounds, bite marks from getting infected. Is that I knew what to use in case I did not have medical supplies. And I know you see me looking back and forth here. I'm actually watching myself talk on the screen and it's kind of weird. Uh... with owning an animal uh, it's something you just need to have on 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 hand at all times uh, if you take them somewhere you need to have uh, they call it I believe they call it an IFAC now individual first aid kit uh, new fancy terminology 
Uh, we just called them a medical kit. Uh, we just put stuff in a bag and took with us all the time. Uh, we had a first aid kit in vehicles. Um, but you need to have something on you all the time. You also need to be prepared in case they bite someone else. It's a big thing. Dogs have almost a sixth sense, which is a good thing. They will actually pick up on the way that you as an owner act towards somebody. They also will pick up on things that you don't pick up on. I have had one of my dogs act really weird around somebody. And I thought I knew the person and come to find out I really didn't. There was some uh, skeletons that came out of the closet one time that kind of made me wonder how good of a judge of character I am because of that. But my dog knew. Uh, just something to think about. Uh, another thing is if you're thinking about going out in the woods, a dog will... Well, most dogs have a really keen smell, some better than others. Dogs will pick up on smells of other animals that you won't be able to. Um, if you have a good trained dog, this can be a good thing. They can alert you to whether they smell a predator or a game animal. If you're in a survival situation, it could be life-saving. Uh, either way, you could be about to starve. Uh, you might need sustenance. Uh, the animal might be hungry. Uh, goes either way. Keep you, could make you the predator or the prey. Uh, or keep you from being the predator or the prey. Um, Also, most dogs have a good sense of hearing, better than humans. Um, this can be beneficial to you. Uh, another thing dogs uh, can do that most of you might laugh when you see this part of the video is they can be up and on somebody immediately after waking up you know i'm like an old brook uh gotta start it up and let it idle and warm up some you know uh dogs aren't like that they get woke up in the middle of the night they go bite or they go bark or both uh There's so many benefits to having a dog, but there's some liabilities too. And I, I thought I might just kind of talk about this to some of you. I know there's some people in the group that are uh, that are in a group that I'm in on Facebook that have thought about getting a dog. Uh, just trying to help out. If you like this content, uh, like and subscribe. So Facebook can pretend to help me uh, and notify you if you really want to help out the channel, uh, share the video. Uh, I've got a lot to talk about and more to talk about than I have time right now, but I'm working on it. Um, I'm also trying to get my links together for all my other channels. That I'm going to start including in the video or the videos in the description box. I also have some uh, Patreons set up for some of my channels. 
Uh, and I'm uh, trying to become an Amazon, whatever they call it, associate or whatever, where you, they give you a few pennies if somebody buys something with one of your links. Uh, but anyways, uh, hey, uh, what a blooper. Stay safe out there, think things through, and uh, y'all have fun. We'll see you on the next one.